How to Develop a Close Friendship with Jesus Kingdom Pattern John 15 verse 15 No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends, for all things that I heard from my father I have made known to you. Generally, to build a close friendship with someone, you have to spend time with that person, you converse with each other, you share thoughts with each other, and experiences as well. How some people rationalize why it is a challenge, to build a close friendship with Jesus. Not having met Jesus directly, some people see not having met Jesus physically as a challenge, to building a close relationship with someone they do not see. However, it is achievable to build a close friendship with Jesus, without having seen and met him physically. Apostle Peter acknowledged that many Christians in the early church had similar challenge, but they exercised faith. 1 Peter 1 verse 8 Whom having not seen you, love. Though now you do not see him, yet believing, you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory. Prayer, a form of worship. Prayer plays an important role in our worship of the Almighty God, because it is through prayer that we are brought into the presence of God. We focus our attention on God through prayer, and through prayer we can recognize our purpose and place before God. Psalm 75 verse 1 We give thanks to you, O God, we give thanks. For your wondrous works declare that your name is near. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 16 to 18 Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Matthew 4 verse 10. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan. For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Acts 20 verse 36. And when he had said these things, he knelt down and prayed with them all. Prayer makes us to recognize our position before God. Though Jesus leaves in heaven, and we cannot literally spend time with him. However, without being physically near Jesus, he leaves in us through his Holy Spirit, and we can still get to know a lot about him. The importance of building a close friendship with Jesus. In order to have a good relationship with God, we must be friends with Jesus his son. God said he loved us because we love Jesus, and no one can come to the Father without Jesus Christ his son. John 16 verse 27 For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me, and have believed that I came forth from God. John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If we know Jesus Christ, then we know God, because Jesus Christ completely reflected the qualities of God the Father. Hence, it is vital to study the life of Jesus Christ if we want to know God. John 14 verse 9 Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father, so how can you say, Show us the Father? Our love for Jesus Christ will grow as we learn about him, and our affection for the Father will grow deeper as well. We must have a relationship with Jesus for our prayers to be answered. Jesus said whatever you ask in my name, I will do. In order to have our prayers answered, we must have a relationship with Jesus Christ. This goes beyond just ritually saying in Jesus name to our prayers. It is important for us to know how God uses Jesus in answering our prayers. Despite the fact that it is God the Father who ultimately hears and answer our prayers, the Father has given Jesus Christ the authority to implement his decisions. Therefore. God examines if we are obedient in carrying out the commands of Jesus, before he answers our prayers made in Jesus' name. For instance, Jesus says we should love one another, and by that people will know that we are his disciples. If we do not love others, it shows we are not obedient and a follower of Jesus, so God is not obligated to answer our prayers. John 14 verse 13 And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Matthew 28 verse 18 And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. 
John 13 verse 35. By this all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Matthew 6 verse 14 to 15. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. By what means do we form a close friendship with Jesus? 1. Better Knowledge of Jesus Christ To build a close friendship with Jesus Christ, we must first and foremost get to know Him, and we do this by studying about Him as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, in the Holy Bible. We develop love and respect for Him, as we meditate on what is written about Him in the Bible. How He interacted with people, loving, and sharing their pains etc. Read John 11 verse 32 to 36. John 15 verse 15. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends, for all things that I heard from my father I have made known to you. Matthew 11 verse 19. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton and a wine-bibber, a friend of tax collectors and sinners but wisdom is justified by her children. 2. Emulate Jesus' Actions We will be drawn closer to Jesus, when we get to know Him better and imitate His ways. Imitate how He helped others, how He forgave people their trespasses, how He loved people etc. Read Matthew 20 verse 28. Romans 15 verse 1 to 3. John 1 verse 46 to 47. 1 Timothy 1 verse 12 to 14. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 16. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. John 13 verse 35. By this all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. 3. Seeking the interest of the kingdom of God first. To become a friend of Jesus, we have to love what he loves. Read Matthew 25 verse 34 to 40. We have to support the work of the kingdom, and we can do this by spending, and being spent. By fully sharing in the propagation of the kingdom of God, in making disciples of others. John 10 verse 16. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. Acts 10 verse 42. And he commanded us to preach to the people, and to testify that it is he who was ordained by God to be judge of the living and the dead. Matthew 28 verse 19 to 20. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Jesus came to this earth to bring the good news of the kingdom, and he commanded all of us his disciple to share in this work. When you show your obedience to his command, you show your love for him, and your appreciation of the things that are dear to Jesus will grow. The Good News The Gospel in a Nutshell Human inherited sin and sinful nature as a result of the sinful disobedience of the first human, Adam and Eve, and the punishment for sin is death which means separation from God, the source of life, Romans 3.23, we cannot earn our salvation, for this reason Jesus Christ came into the world fully God and fully man. He perfectly obeyed God's law and perfectly fulfilled God's will. He died in our place and as our substitute, paying for our sins. He rose from the dead on the third day and ascended into heaven. He will one day return to the earth to establish his kingdom. If you truly repent from sinful ways, believe and accept Jesus Christ in your heart as Lord and Savior. You will be saved from judgment and spend eternity with God. Remember, Jesus is coming soon, are you ready? Be the first to know when new videos are published. Please like and follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the notification bell beside the subscribe button to be notified of new releases. Kingdom Pattern at www.youtube.com
Crossway Christian Ministries 2 at gmail.com. This is Kingdom Pattern, a ministry of Crossway Christian Ministries.